Here I will show you how to delete the EFI partition, the system partition, recovery partition, and any other partitions that you might have on your hard drive. And these are some necessary steps if you want to reuse an old boot drive. First you will right click on the Windows icon and select Windows Terminal Admin. Inside the Windows Terminal Admin you will start disk part by writing in disk part and click enter. This will launch the disk part program which is run inside command prompt or Windows Terminal as it's called. Write in list disk and you get all your disks there. And you need to figure out which disk is the one you want to delete. So look at disk management by right clicking the Windows icon and selecting disk management. And you can browse the different disk here. You can see the labels. You can go to Windows Explorer by clicking Windows key E and you can see the, you know, different labels there. And then you'll know which disk it is you want to delete. So when you've done that, select disk one, disk one in my case, it might be disk zero, disk two, disk three, four in your case, and then click enter and write in list partition or list part. Then you will see all the partitions in here. And you can see the first one, uh, they are listed by order. So if you only want to delete one of the partitions, make sure that you delete the right one in order. And the reserved one, partition one, write in select part one and then you will click enter and write in delete part override and now this partition is deleted so the reserved system efi partition is deleted and i want to delete the other partitions on this drive too so i will write select part two enter delete part override and remove that too and it doesn't matter if it's a system disk a storage uh, uh, partition or uh, like system partition or EFI partition, you can remove them all in this way. Just write in the partition that you want to delete and delete part override and click enter. Uh, and make sure that you delete the right partition and they are listed in order. I want to delete all partitions on this drive so now it's empty. And uh, now we can launch disk management again to format it. You don't have to delete all of them, you can delete only the system partition if you want to, but we will select a new simple volume and set it up. If we have an SSD that we are formatting, we should leave some space unallocated. 15% should be unallocated to be specific. So we just take the number of bytes times 0 0.85, paste that in that number and make the size that big. If you leave some space unallocated on an SSD it will live longer and be faster. For HDs it doesn't matter so we can max it out and just go through with a setup. It should be NTFS, select whatever label you want and uh, allocation unit size should be default in almost all cases. Um, in any case, like when you set up a disk this way, um, if you only delete the EFI partition and leave the rest of the partitions or untouched, or if you delete the recovery partition and leave the other ones untouched, you can instead expand the space of the main volume to cover that area as well. Um, but we just made a new volume and we will perform quick format. If you want to overwrite any data that was left on the drive since earlier, you should uncheck the quick format and it might take, you know, 20 minutes, a couple of hours, dependent on the disk, uh, but then it will be, uh, you know, the old data will be destroyed. In any case, uh, now we can just use this disk. It's formatted and nice and uh, all partitions, system partitions included, are now deleted. So hope this was useful for you and if it was, do leave a like and I'll see you in future videos.